What's up, guys? Uh, I got a topic on my mind, and it has to do with Floyd Money Mayweather. Um, you know, he's the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter right now, and he just might be getting the credit he deserves, but the media out there always focuses on the negative, always focuses on, hey, you know, he's behind on his tax returns, right? He's going to jail. In, in, a, in a few months, or, you know, he's, uh, he doesn't like Jeremy Lin, or whatever the fuck, some dumb shit like that. But I mean, honestly, if you looked at, uh, the first quarter of 2011, it's only, we're two months in, he's donated over $200,000 to charitable organizations, and we'll get into that later. But some people confuse Floyd Money Mayweather, the persona the character of Money Mayweather, the uh, the brash, cocky, villainous demeanor, uh, his lack of respect for other fighters, they confuse that as his real personality, and that's why a lot of people hate Mayweather. They want to see him lose, and people confuse that attitude with the Floyd Mayweather in real life. Because if you ever see a Floyd Mayweather video where he's just uh, he's with his family, or wait, he's uh. He's, you know, he's chilling 50 cent, I don't know, whatever. You know, he's, he's a pretty nice guy. He's not going off on people. <laughs> we all sell him with that security guard, but, you know, that's one instance where, I don't know, we still don't even know what happened. There's just one video, pretty grainy, and he, he certainly didn't punch him or anything. He poked him. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, he's had some trouble with the law, but you can't. You know, w once you're at that status, you're going to have people coming after you uh, for no damn reason, you know. At the end of the day, we have to consider this, uh, that, you know, on comments made from Floyd Mayweather regarding a certain basketball player, <laughs> regarding Jeremy Lin, uh, we have to consider that the, everything the mainstream media has done to Floyd Mayweather's name has been to discredit him as one of the greatest boxers of all time and there are plenty of videos on this you can check out uh, the YouTube channel Oral Leprosy Oral Leprosy he has done extensive research into the mainstream media debating uh, topics with Mayweather and how he's portrayed as a coward when in reality he has ducked no fighter no fighter. I cannot name a fighter that Mayweather has ducked. I can't. He never really ducked Margarito. Uh, Bob Arum didn't want to make the fight with Cotto. Who has he ducked? He's, he, there's no way he's ducking Pacquiao. He's called him out this year. He wanted the fight in 2009. And the reason that fight didn't happen was about a drug test. Mayweather has, has not ducked a soul in boxing. And... In reality, if, if, if Manny Pacquiao agrees to a blood test in 2009, we get to see the fight of the year. The, the fight, you know, the <laughs> World Awaits Part 3. We, we would have seen Mayweather versus Pacquiao, but that didn't happen. So mainly, like, when, when Jeremy Lin gets all this credit for, you know, for, you know, having a great debut and having, you know, a great string of games, but he's getting all this credit, like, and, and well deserved, but a lot of it is hype. You know, a lot of it is is maybe it's going overboard. That's what the media does. So maybe they're just pointing out, hey, you know, what if this guy was black? Would he get the same amount of credit if uh, if 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 a black guy had the same uh, had the same performance as Jeremy Lin? Maybe he wouldn't. You know, he's he's addressing a social issue. And he shouldn't be, uh, uh, he shouldn't be held, held with a sword and a guillotine because of that. He shouldn't be crucified in the media because he's bringing out a social issue. Uh, but regarding Mayweather the fighter, he obviously plays the villain. He ought, the other guy will automatically get the baby face. He'll get the, the good guy role. And then the promotion begins, where it's good guy versus bad guy. It's, it's a lot like pro wrestling. 
So when Mayweather fights Ortiz and he chokes him a little bit, Ortiz knows, hey, Mayweather's just being a bad guy, and this is only gonna, uh, you know, build the promotion for the fight at this time. It's And, and this really, consider this, because uh, Floyd Mayweather was pretty boy Floyd uh, early in his career. He fought guys like, he fought top-of-the-line competition. Guys like Jose Luis Castillo twice. He fought Jesus Chavez. He fought Diego Corrales. Uh, Gennaro Hernandez. Four top of the li four top of line opponents, and uh, the best he could get was a five fight deal with HBO. You know, no pay per view, and and he balked at that agreement. He called it slave wages, and in a way, that was really the beginning of HBO uh, painting Floyd in a negative light. Uh, in 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 either case, Floyd was rewarded uh, with the fight with Arturo Gotti and this is really where where he took on that villainous role to to build up that persona to build up um, to build up some notoriety he wanted the attention he wanted uh, he wanted his first pay-per-view fight to mean something and boy did he ever show how good he was uh, I, I thought it would be a competitive a competitive fight like others I was you know I was a huge Gotti fan, and I saw Gotti get whooped like like, like no other fight in his career. <laughs> and that's just, that's how it goes. Mayweather's uh, boxing ability was just too much for Gotti. And, uh, and yeah, that was a six-round stoppage. But during the promotion of that fight, I think the main reason that really pissed me off and, and for me to dislike Mayweather was Mayweather, he showed no respect for Gotti's boxing ability at all, whatsoever. He gave him no respect. I don't, I don't, I don't think he called him a paper champ. I think he did call him a paper champion. But, but he really trashed, he really put a lot, he really like, you know, he was calling Gotti this and that. Uh, like, ah, oh, you're a bum. He called him a bum. He called, he should be fighting in like, uh, you know, in, in the back of the... <laughs> The boardwalk or something, man. <laughs> like, like he really went out, went in on on Arturo Gotti. Like, ah, oh, Mickey Ward's a bum. Everyone who's who's fought's a bum. This guy's a nobody. You know, I'm gonna destroy him. He's telling everyone he's gonna destroy him. You know, he's gonna make him look easy. You know, it, in hindsight, he was absolutely right. But Gotti's no bum. He's going to the Hall of Fame, uh, which is you know, which is a, a, a test of his popularity. But th the main idea is. Uh, that's that's a role he plays uh, in every fight since then, and that was his first pay-per-view fight. And every every fight since then, he was that villainous character. And especially for the Oscar De La Hoya fight, we saw that side in him again. And and of course, moving uh, moving onwards. Now, in terms of Floyd Mayweather outside of the ring, you know we've seen him, you know, whatever. He's, he's in a strip club making it rain with 50 Cent. That's, that's, to me, that's a part of hip-hop culture. It's, it's merged into the culture. And if you're, if you're a part of that uh, lifestyle, if you have access to that, you're going to partake in that because you, you, you like hip-hop. You know, if you like hip-hop, apparently you have to like going to strip clubs making it rain. Apparently. But that, that's, that's a cultural aspect. That's not a reason to hate a man. <laughs> Also, like I said before, he has done, he has given over $200,000 in, in, the, in the first two months of 2011 to foundations like um, Habitat for Humanity. He gave 50 k uh, in January. He also gave 50 k to the Square Food Bank, uh, which, which you can see. And he's done a lot of good for the community. He really knows. He's really known for giving back. And and he also gave a hundred thousand dollars to the Susan G uh Susan G. Komen Southern Nevada affiliate. Uh that hundred thousand dollars was went towards fighting the challenges of breast cancer for men and women. You know, very very charitable. 
there were even uh, Twitter pictures of Mayweather. Uh, you could see him and his his entourage. They're in a soup kitchen. You know, they're helping feed the homeless. How how humble is that? And and we never see that side of him portrayed in the media. There's a reason for that. Now, there's a lot of people speculating on those reasons, but there is a reason for that. Um, also, when George, sorry, when when Joe Frazier passed away, who picked up the tab? Who picked up the tab for, uh, you know, a funeral for an average person costs about 20K. Imagine what a funeral would cost for Joe Frazier. Mayweather's the one that paid for that. You know, very generous human being, very charitable. But well, we never see that side of him in the media. Uh, if you want to see how Mayweather is portrayed in the media, please check out Oral Leprosy's series of videos on that. You can even check out check out uh, HTV One Two Two. He really gets into the Mayweather versus the media, and uh, that's a damn shame. You know, it, it's it's really just a lot like wrestling where he has. Because if there's no bad guy, then you have two good guys. No one wants to watch two good guys. No one wants to watch May Pacquiao versus uh, versus another good guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, that I could I could bring up May Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley because they're both good guys, right? So that's maybe a fight where it's not. It's definitely not going to get the publicity of of Mayweather ver of sorry Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Yeah, obviously, where Pac where you know Mayweather just fits into that villainous role. Uh, a lot of people look towards, uh, you know, his, his big awe, you know, uh, he, he has this lawsuit where, uh, allegedly he was, you know, he may, he might have, uh, violently, he, he, he had violent behavior towards his ex-wife, Josie Harris. We haven't seen evidence of that, you know, it's, you have to keep your eyes open, and if there's evidence of that, you know, then, then obviously he must have done something. But when Mayweather says he didn't do anything and there's no pictures, when if if you've obviously been battered, you should know to take a picture of the damage as evidence. You should also, uh, also, Josie Harris went on the record to say she didn't want any jail time for Floyd Mayweather. Now, what does that say? What does that say? So those are just a few aspects that you know are. That really, uh, uh, that really uh, catch my catch my eye about that whole case, and maybe maybe Mayweather is, is isn't being treated fairly. Obviously, he got his jail sentence uh, postponed, and we'll be beginning that in June. Uh, yeah, man, you gotta understand this guy. He's, he just he's he seems like he's just a a nice average ordinary guy outside the ring. Except, you know, he partakes in making it rain, and and he makes up for it in in the way he he gives back to the community. And and that's really the most important part, because he does do that. I, when's the last time I've seen May May Pacquiao, uh, you know, contribute a donation to to you know to fight whatever some disease or to help homeless kids. I know he does a lot of work in uh, in the Philippines, but you know he's a politician. I don't know how many politicians actually help the quality of life of uh, in America, in particular. But uh, m maybe it's different over there in the Philippines. Uh, I'm, I'm just speculating with that. But you have to understand, Money Mayweather is a persona. Floyd Mayweather, the person, is you know he might you know. He might take on that persona in front of the camera, but he's a different person outside the ring. And outside of uh, outside of the camera life, he's probably uh, much more humble than we all uh, than we all think. You know, Mayweather's not an idiot. He's a smart guy. He he knows what sells, and he'll be that he'll be that character to to get to to get people to watch. And that's all that he's done. Like. Let's not hate on him because he's one of the best out there. Let's really give him his credit. He's and he's facing Miguel Cotto, and and that looks to be a great fight as well. And he looks to have the ability to make Miguel Cotto look look 
Maybe he might make Miguel Cotto look like Gotti. You never know. He's he's in his he see the way I look at Mayweather, he's still primed right now. He really hasn't been hit in his career, and all that he's really lost is just a bit of foot movement. But he still has the same speed and ability that that he's had since his whole career, and he's much more relaxed in the ring. Uh, I really see him beating Mikel Cotto, and and you know don't be surprised. You know, the villainous Money Mayweather will come out because Cotto is just a natural good guy. Uh, so yeah, those are just my thoughts on Floyd Mayweather. Uh, and uh, shout out to Boxing Bell for letting me uh, make this a video response to her. Uh, take care.